You're listening to Tim Bolkley's Five Minute Bible. Why do you read? Or was God married? Tough question, you think? Well, bear with me through an example. A week ago, the Biblical Studies blogs and my Facebook news were full of a report from the UK Daily Mail. Why the BBC's new face of religion believes God had a wife for some reason wife was in capitals ran the headline lots of people dismissed the article saying what do you expect from a tabloid rag but the article wasn't written by a hack journalist but by a scholar from Exeter with degrees including a PhD from Oxford so what's going on first the facts Dr. Francesca Stavrakopoulou's research interests are described on her university website like this her research is primarily focused on ancient Israelite and Judahite religions and portrayals of the religious past in the Hebrew Bible so she's a historian interested primarily in history so if you were to ask her why do you read the Bible she'd almost certainly say something like to find out about the history of ancient Israel so though she has a degree in theology she reads the Bible to discover history okay let's ask about the facts of history did God have a wife according to the ideas of an ancient Israelite in the street yes the Bible almost tells us so it talks about the worship of Asherah in the Jerusalem temple and nowadays thanks to discoveries at the ancient city of Ugarit in Rash what's now Rashamra in Syria we know that Asherah was a goddess worshipped alongside the chief god of uh, Ugarit El and archaeology does tell us that at least one ancient Israelite thought so there was an inscription found around the time when I was a theology student at Kuntileta Drood in which the writer talks about Yahweh and his Asherah so Stavrakopoulou is right God had a wife if you answer the question why do you read the Bible saying for history as a matter of history God in ancient Israel had a wife often frequently for in ancient Judah most of the existence of the Jerusalem temple according to Kings if you read on the other hand to find out about God theology then the answer is equally clear but it's negative God did not have a wife let's quote Stavrakopoulou far more significant she says is the Bible's admission that the goddess Asherah was worshipped in Yahweh's temple in Jerusalem in the book of Kings we're told that a statue of Asherah was housed in the temple and that female temple personnel wove ritual textiles for her in fact although the Bible condemns all these practices stop right there you see what's happened the Bible condemns all these practices the Bible does not say that God had a wife the Bible says God did not have a wife in fact it says that God can't have a wife because according to the Bible God said I am not a man to have a wife you have to be a man it's one of the rules unless you live in one of those cultures where two women can marry each other but the Bible doesn't talk about one of those cultures so why do you read is a vital question because the answer you come to on a question like was God married will be different depending on whether you read for history to find out about what happened in ancient Israel or Judah or to find out about theology and in this case the answer is diametrically and totally opposite depending on why you read now this is a big topic so in future podcasts I'm going to deal with two aspects of it one of them will be why do you read part two the genocide of the Canaanites and hopefully I'll address how this why question relates to the topic that I started a while ago but haven't finished addressing of the genocide of the Canaanites but I also plan another sequel was God married part two in which I'll try to answer the musing with which Dr. Stavrakopoulou ends her article she wrote I can't help but wonder what the world would be like had the goddess remained I think the Bible offers some clues so wait for the next thrilling and exciting installment in one or the other of these series God bless <laughs>